show you how to pack kitchen accessories such as pads, cans, plates and we're going to start by selecting a dish prep box uh, we're also going to do some uh, bubble wrap and lay a bubble wrap right on the bottom of the box as it's showing here and we're going to also place some bumpers that we pre-made already we just place them right on the bottom all the way on the bottom we're going to make sure it's as cushioned as possible and from here we're going to go by selecting the heavy and most um, bigger items all the way on the bottom. We're gonna wrap it with some paper packing. And we're also gonna need some more bumpers to cut the middle part of it. How you wanna place it is horizontal, no vertical, as it shows here. Next, we're gonna go with another heavier and large item here. We're also gonna wrap it up. And if you got any space between that, and you're gonna just fill it out with some more bumpers. And once again, same procedures. You wanna do this standing vertical and horizontal, okay? From here, we're gonna go to this one. And each one, each plate or each scrap right, needs to be wrapped with the paper packing. If you feel like you need some bumpers between the, the plates or the bases, just go ahead and place some more to be more secure. Then we're gonna go ahead, place the plate. You wanna do one lay or two lays, two is preferable. Give us more protection to all your place. Now if you have a very expensive or let's say your grandma Silverware or something like that, you may want to use bubble wrap. It's ideal to use bubble wrap instead of a newspaper or paper packing. You always want to make sure that the box is not heavy. So every time you add some more uh, items to the box, you want to make sure it's a reasonable weight. Otherwise, uh, you make it tougher for the movers and not just that, but just post your silverware to break overweight so there you go you want to place some more bumpers all around so they don't bump to each other here now at this point you want to have one layer of bumpers all the way around the box you want to make sure you fill these empty spaces here so that's what we're going to do now there you go as you can see we're filling every single corner of the box There you go. If you're adding more fragile stuff, you also want to do a layer of bubble wrap. At this point, we're going to do only plastic and some more glass on it. So there's no need of a bubble wrap at this point. So we go. very simple anyone can do it you probably want to get some help like let's say your kids you can make your kids to to use all the bumpers they can make the bumpers for you as well <coughs> something very simple you always want to prepare your move organize it select the right dishes size you want to maximize the use of the box but in a safe way Okay, now let's go with plastic. And once again, you select the largest ones. And we also wanna do the paper packing you know, on the plastic so it doesn't scratch, you know. There you go. See, as you can see, I'm testing the bonds. You can hold some more. So we're gonna finish it by adding all these plastics here. If you need some bumpers to fill the empty space, you can go ahead and do that. Make sure all the corners are filled with the bumpers. There you go. 
go. Some more here. And when it comes to a plastic, you can do horizontal, vertical. It really doesn't matter. It's a plastic, so it won't break. You wanna use the right. Uh, if you feel like it will fit horizontal, just leave it horizontal or vertical, as it shows here. Now, here, we still have some more room, but there's no more items that will cover this space. So what you want to do here is just fill out all these empty spaces with one pair, and we'll be ready to be close. There we go. Now we can cut this box. And you only just want the label show on the box. So what we're gonna do is tape it now. And we can reinforce the box by going around it. This is how you pack kitchen accessories.